In the last video, we saw that we can know that two expressions are not equivalent if we can find at least one number for which they're different. But we can't really know that they are equivalent if we try a number and they do give the same value. However, we do have something available that's really good at trying a whole bunch of numbers in an expression. We can use our calculator to try a whole bunch of numbers in an expression. That won't guarantee that a pair of expressions are equivalent, but it'll make it seem really likely. Let's say we want to use our graphing calculator to check whether the expression 2n plus 3 is equivalent to the expression 3 times 2 thirds n plus 1. How would we do that? Well, taking a look at the calculator, we see this y equals button. And that gives us a place where we can enter a whole bunch of different expressions. Some things to note. First, this method only works for expressions in just one variable. And second, no matter what our variable is called, we're going to call it capital X on the calculator because the calculator thinks that all variables are called capital X. So here's what we're going to do. We'll enter our first expression in Y1 using capital X as the variable. Remember, our first expression was 2n plus 3. We're going to enter 2 capital X plus 3. So 2. To get the capital X, we press this button right here, right underneath mode to the right of alpha. This is the enter my variable button. Plus 3. Now we'll enter the second expression in Y2 again using x as the variable. And notice that I put my fraction 2 thirds in parentheses. So I'm copying the existing parentheses and I'm adding extra parentheses around my fraction. Okay, now how am I going to get the calculator to plug a whole bunch of numbers in there? You see the word table in little blue letters above the graph button. When we hit second and then the graph button, we get a table. What do we see in this table? So this column labeled x is what we're plugging in for the variable. And then the column labeled y1 is what we get by evaluating the first function. The column labeled y1 is what we get by evaluating the first expression. And the column labeled y2 is what we get by evaluating the second expression. Notice I can use the up and down arrows to scroll through different values of x. And I see that the y1 column and the y2 column are exactly the same wherever I look. And so since those two columns are exactly the same, since Plugging in all those different values of x evaluates to the same number for each expression. They're probably equivalent. Notice we haven't tried every number. We've only tried certain small integers. But we'd have to get really unlucky for them to end up equal just by coincidence. The two expressions are probably equivalent. What does it look like if the expressions are not equivalent? Let's say we want to use the calculator to check whether 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equivalent to 2x plus 3. So I've already got 2x plus 3 entered in y1. I'm going to enter 2x plus 3 parentheses x plus 1 and then second graph to get the table again. Oh, that's no good. I see that they happen to give the same value when x is 0. But for most values of x, 
my y1 and y2 columns have different numbers in them. So that suggests, in fact, it shows that they are not equivalent. Remember, to show that they're not equivalent, we just need to find one number for which the two expressions evaluate to different values. So we could say, we see that when x is 1, 2x plus 3 evaluates to 5. Remember, we had 2x plus 3 entered in y1. But the other expression evaluates to 8. And of course, 5 is different from 8. Again, this method will show us for sure that two expressions are not equivalent. It'll just make us pretty sure that two expressions are equivalent.